Hey, y'all. I bet if I said, do you like spinach and artichoke dip? You would say, oh, yes, we order it every time it's on the menu when we want an appetizer. So that's what we're going to make tonight. Um, it's actually nighttime <laughs> instead of early morning. But this particular recipe is so yummy. At one of our favorite local restaurants, we would get the spinach and artichoke dip, and it was just so good, and there was just something different. You could tell that they had a little bit of a kick in there. <laughs> and so I asked the server, what do y'all put in your spinach and artichoke dip? It's just so yummy. And they said heavy cream. So that's what we're going to do. Now, this dip um, takes, you have to let it set in the refrigerator overnight so we're going to make it then tomorrow I will bake it for you and I'll show you how yummy it looks once you bake it so somebody's coming in <laughs> so we've got artichokes that have been quartered spinach frozen spinach that I heated up a little bit and then drained it and then uh, put it in a, a dish towel and you just kind of have to wring it out um, because even though you think you've gotten all the moisture out of it, a lot of times you haven't. And then a cup of heavy cream. Stir that. A cup of half and half. <laughs> so it not only has heavy cream, it has half and a half in it too. And then a cup and a half of cheese. Now, a lot of people like Parmesan cheese, so um, use whatever you like, but um, any kind of cheese will do. It just needs to be able to be a little bit melty. And then we're going to put in a cup of mayonnaise. Doesn't this sound yummy, y'all? You can imagine how good it is with all, all these yummy ingredients. A half a cup of diced onions. And then we're going to add our aromatics. Now, it's three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Three-fourths of a teaspoon of pepper. I use black pepper. You can, use, you can use white pepper if you like. Like it. I use that sometimes, too. I like it. And then three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm going to put that in. And then stir it all up really well. And you can see why they have you set this in the fridge overnight because it's kind of loose. You know, it's kind of um, not like soup loose, but just usually if you make a dip, it's kind of thick to begin with. But since you have put in the liquid of the half and half and the heavy cream, um, you need to let it sit and just kind of tighten up. So... If I weren't doing this video, I'd just let it sit in this bowl overnight, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. We're going to put it in our baking dish. This is a perfect time of year for this, isn't it? Especially like if you're having company over for the ball game, or even just after church, or on a Saturday night, just for your family. How fun would this be? And then you put some cheese on top. And you bake it for uh, until the cheese is melty and it looks really good. It's about 30 minutes in, the, in a 350 degree oven. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to cover it, put it in my fridge, finish it tomorrow and show you how yummy this dip is. Hey y'all, I hope you've had a wonderful day. We have, we went to church, we went to a benefit for one of Sharon's friends and um, I'm telling you what, the country music community of Nashville is just so precious and kind. And it's always wonderful to be with them. Anyway, just walked in the door from early this morning. But I wanted to show you this dip. And I told you it would tighten up and it does. It's just, yeah, it's nice and thick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Now, I actually was looking for Swiss cheese, and I couldn't find any at two stores. So I had this blend cheese, blended cheese, and um, I'm going to use that. So we'll bake it for 30 minutes at 350 until the top gets beautiful and golden brown, and then I'll show it to you. 
Okay, y'all, here's this beautiful spinach and artichoke dip. You can see it's bubbling on the side. The cheese is gooey, melted, yummy. I think you're going to love it. Bon appetit.